The first thing that I would like to show you is uh, a new, well, not a new discovery of mine. I've always known about these kind of tops <laughs> for a long time. I grew up in the 80s, so I definitely fucking well knew about these goddamn tops. What I didn't know, because I was young, naive, and innocent, er, naive, er, younger, <laughs> um, that these things are called trophy tops. <laughs> because um, the reason is that the people who typically would wear these, uh, when they first were produced and worn, or one of the people that would wear these that had kind of a character to them, perhaps you could say, would be a trophy wife. <laughs> and as soon as I read that, I couldn't stop laughing. Kind of surprised with some of the bigger websites like H&M, and well, I don't want to single out any one company, but there's when I googled it, uh, there was a lot of mainstream stuff selling brand new tops that look like this, labeled as trophy tops. <laughs> so <laughs> that makes me laugh. Kind of surprised. Some of those crazy rad bands haven't had a pissy fit on them for uh, the trophy wife. So, this beautiful silk beaded top by Frank Usher uh, is a fabulous option to be worn as a, as a trophy wife. Uh, if you can read my little star costume uh, suggestions on there, another option would be a mermaid. Think Splash, the movie, 1980s Splash. <laughs> come on, this is freaking great. Uh, I'm sure there's other movie stars, divas, and all that kind of crap that you can come up with. To be honest, I have no movie stars to show you because I kind of suck at remembering movie stars and what they were wearing. I'm just not the kind of person that remembers that stuff and replicates. So I, I like to create. Neither of us are better than other people who remember the ones that create. I just, yeah, I have to Google that shit every time something comes in. I should know it as a vintage store owner, but I just give up. It's not going to happen. As you see in my hand, I have yet another trophy wife top. Um, I'm sure there are, again, other stars that you could be in this top, but you could really be the trophy wife of all goddamn trophy wives, of trophy wives, of trophy wives, of trophy wives. Um, yeah, there's a matching skirt, so <laughs> you're pretty fucking set. Uh, these things are awesome because they usually are silk underlined. This one's by Dominique, uh, which is a bit of uh, a, a, a fancier brand in the silk uh, beaded items. Uh, this does come separately, but if you would like to purchase them as a set, I will give you a bargain for doing so as if they were a set. <coughs> One of the next costumes I have is a 1940s graduate robe. Yeah, I don't know, get creative. There is the movie The Graduate. I'm sure there's quite a few fun things that could be done. It could be easily, easily decorated into many epic costumes. I'm pretty sure the cosplay kids are... <laughs> It, but what they were yelling out was about the characters that it could be. Um, I don't know what they are, so I was unintelligible. They probably would too. The cuties. I love them. Uh, anyway, so yeah, there's probably quite a lot that could be done with this. It does unhook just by little fucking eyes all the way to the bottom. Great option. I forgot to give you prices. Kind of counts for this stuff. This one's 26 bucks. Fits most. These little beaded tops. This one's 32. The little blue one is 34. The skirt, the skirt's pretty fantastic, haven't seen anything like that, I have it up at 40 bucks. Um, the next thing that you could be is this beautiful, ooh la la, uh, right away. Beauty and the Beast is the first thing that comes to mind. Um, there's a lot of things you could do with it, I know many people feel like, oh it's vintage, we can't touch it, the do it and damage, destroy it. Go nuts, because you know what, the underarm have a few stain issues on them. Haven't tried to wash them out, but it... Um, it's a chemical, so it does more than just stay and ease the fabric. It's not in horrible shape, but it's definitely at the point of, you know, we either need to rework this into something else, use it for photo shoots only, or a little black dye here or there, a little zombie bra, a little bride of Frankenstein, uh, keep it nice as it is, you know, go as bell, have some fun, don't worry about, you know, ruining this stellar vintage piece. Um, enjoy it. This is not really in mint condition. Uh, I would have this price because it's still a pretty damn nice piece, around $60. Um, so yeah, many things that you could do and have fun with. It's not just a bit of a tickle trunk piece, it would be one of the best ones. Uh, here is a 19... I didn't do that. 1960 dress. Five stress. So you could use this. Uh, it's a handmade piece of junk. <laughs> it's really not that bad. I don't carry junk junk. but. It's just really meant to be as a little costume piece. If you would like some zombification help, the little mouse slash dog you just saw is happy to do what she can. Um, 
Yep, little sixties bride dress. It's very cheap. I have it at thirty bucks. It's about a size large. Uh, yeah, zombie bride, bride of whatever the hell you can think of. There's a lot of bridal options. Your mind is uh, the limit. Cowboy. Yeah. It's just a it's just a, a suede vest. Uh, someone may want to rescue it, or even as a costume. Almost all these pieces can be worn for regular fashion. This isn't really a costume. I will wear this. 18 bucks, size medium, suede, Jackie Durs, East Ventura, I don't know, get creative, it's fun, it's neat, I'm sure there's lots that could be done, I don't know, what's up here in loading, again, I don't, uh, I don't do those things, I don't remember, it's just not part of who I am, 1950s housewife, exhausted, cleaning, zombify yourself, put a bunch of fake pills in your pocket, your imagination is the limit, cleaning lady, you can have fun. These are pretty cra crazy uh, character pieces, so I enjoy them. They're also one of my favorite pieces just to wear because it's pretty comfortable. Ah, uh -huh. This one's a little pricier than the rest because it is in darn nice condition. It's 1940s to 50s. And this is Westbury fashion, so that means it was meant to be as a regular dress. Very easy to be worn as a regular dress. However, it is classic of the waitresses of the time. So you could use it for something like that, housewife, yellow gloves, just have some fun. Again, your imagination is necessary. I'm not giving it all to you. 80 bucks, side beam, waist is about 32. You can go smaller in that a little bit. Uh, okay, don't laugh at me. Like I said, I'm not very good at the movie things, but is this one kind of like Dirty Dancing or something? I don't know. I don't know. Like, seriously, I really don't. And uh, I didn't Google it before to, to make myself look good because I just don't. Um, anyways, this is just a great skirt. It's got some possibility. I'm sure there's probably other, again, classic movie characters that this may personify. The hit in the dark. Um, this is just a crazy wild piece. I don't know, character something? You never know when this is just going to come handy. 70% off. It's probably like two or three bucks. Not really worth it. the price. Joe vs. the Volcano, anyone? Is that when my Tom Hanks was funny? Like, you shouldn't have done those dramas. If you guys have not seen Tom Hanks, some of the younger ones, uh, you need to go watch the movie Big. You need to go watch Joe vs. the Volcano. Okay, it's cheesy slapstick, but it's just awesome. Uh, anyways, yeah, just a little Hawaiian dress. I'm sure there's tourist other kind of options. It's just costumey, what can I say? There's most of the stuff in here. In a good way. The best costume, I think, that could be out there. I'm a fucking unicorn. Yeah? Yeah? I think so. You gotta really cheese it up. Uh, make yourself a little unicorn thing. Be that 1980s handcrafted costume. Watch it. Ballet dancer. 80s gymnast. Again. Your imagination. Have fun. Um, if you're... I know a lot of people these days are having a lot of issues with their gender. They're just very confused about whether they should have a penis or a vagina. A lot of stuff like that. I understand it's a very difficult battle, but there may be some people out there that are also very confused as to which cartoon character they uh, identify with. So if you're tune confused, we have this little costume for you. Slutty, because that's what Halloween costumes are kind of supposed to be. Um, and if you're in the midst of confusion, well, you know. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, anyways, this costume really does go for a wide range of little sexy characters. Snow White, Smurfette, Rainbow Bright. Uh, I could make more if you need in different colors of lamé and fringe. Uh, some awesome costume ideas. And this you can think of just to get away with wearing these goddamn shorts, obviously. Cabaret, showgirl, uh, a lot of guys have bought these for Rocky Horror Picture Show. Uh, choice is yours as always. Uh, you could also have fun with this little prawn dress. It has a small issue where it's got some water stains throughout it, so it hasn't sold yet. You could be a zombie prom queen. Um, there's a lot of dramatic ways where a zombie a prom queen dies, so you can make up a lot of fun stories. Um, you could just be all sorts of stuff that you can think of that has anything to do with prom. You could just be one of those cheesy 80s prom queens and rock it up. Uh, the dress is about 29 bucks. It's a size medium with a 32 inch waist. Ah, uh, could be Justin, something, future, 60s, <laughs> you could be a go-go girl. This dress is just a really cool dress 
from the 1960s. It's got this cool um, apron flap. Don't know if you can see on the video, but it's metallic, so it's extra freaking cool. If someone doesn't get this, then I'm just going to take it for myself because I really like it. Um, find some white gogo boots to go with it. If you need fake ones, real ones are hard to find and expensive. It's 35, 34 bucks, size small. Pretty small up top. Uh, you could be some sort of 1950s movie star, Audrey Hepburn. This is a beautiful early 60s uh, dress. Um, hugs the curves just perfectly. Has these awesome wings behind it. So, again, a beautiful piece with an excuse to wear because it's Halloween. Especially if you're going somewhere, somewhere like really nice and you want to have a glamorous costume instead of a. Uh, I don't know if tacky costumes out there, but you know, just in case you don't want a tacky costume. <clears throat> Another glamorous one, Flapper. Lots of the great Gatsby stuff out right now. It's got a beautiful low back to it. This dress uh, definitely would be a nice piece to anybody's collection to be wearing for any kind of uh, formal events you may have to go to in the future. Um, so if you have a nice Halloween place you're going to, I have this dress for you. And it's $88. It's a size smallish to medium, 1970s. Obviously it's not a real 30s piece, but it'll work. <clears throat> and this is an 80s piece. It's a fun, cheesy little kind of flapper inspired dress so you can have some fun uh, with this one as well. I'm sure again there's movie characters behind these ones. I'm just not mm, knowing about them. I like this one because it's cute. I just, uh, I, yeah, I burped. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, I like this one because it makes you want to stick your butt out. And I didn't part. <laughs> um, okay. Quickly, I have this little piece here, handmade, a uh, little 70s kind of weird piece, Dracula, vampire, same thing, witch, oh, you could just have some fun in it. It's 30 bucks and it's about a size medium. <clears throat> For the boys, I have one, slash tour pieces, 80s rock or something, <laughs> new wave, uh, this one just uh, calls for character and fun. It's priced at 24 bucks, about a medium, and it's a tie silk. Random cowboy! I don't think I need to say much about the cowboys. We know what they are. <laughs> I have two glamorous dresses that could easily work for some sort of crazy Halloween costume. First is this peach glamour from the 1970s with a pretty crazy cape on the front. It is priced at 84 bucks, size small, 30 inch waist. Uh, again, be creative. This piece, well, <laughs> I think in particular, they remind me of the boxes from the 1970s uh, that douchebags, not the people douchebags, but the douche douchebags, like the uh, your hoo ha douchebags came. Um, they had people, ladies, in these dresses doing these like glamorous kind of poses in meadows and stuff to make you feel fresh and clean. Um, don't use the douches, they're bad for you. Both people kind and the bad kind. <laughs> uh, but this dress could also be used well. Not cheap because it's so amazing. 84 bucks, medium, about a 30 inch waist. I do have all the info online for that one. Who? Huh? What? Yeah? Even I know. Cruella de Vil. Faux fur coat from the 60s or 70s. Um, yeah, it would just work really well. And you could wear it later because it's cool. <sighs> I should know the song to it. And I don't know the theme song, because I didn't really watch the show, because I don't like it. There, I said it. Partridge Family, yeah? I've got lots of pieces that would work uh, Partridge Family-esque, so a whole bunch of you could just go. Uh, definitely two of you as Marsha and Sarah, or <laughs> whoever the sisters were. There was a lot of them, right? And their hair that was blonde, and that kind of stuff. Uh, speaking of cowboys, I have cowboy boots. <laughs> Um, who wants to go as Nadie's Raver? <laughs> well, now you can, because I have a pair of 1990s gold Raver sneaker platforms. <clears throat> they are a size 7 and they're $34. We have movie star glitz. Movie star glitz. Everyone likes the movie star glitz, um, because maybe you want to be a movie star glitz costumey character for Halloween. So we have stuff for you. Um, that's it. Uh, there's lots of stuff all over the store that you could use for Halloween. These are just some of the pieces that struck me as being good. So, enjoy. Oh, my costume! <coughs> <coughs> uh, 
and the 1980s both... Uh, wait, me.